Brathwaite hits 50 in Gloucestershire reply. Hampshire have really enjoyed their opening to the LV County Championship, and they took that form into day one, racking up 292 for three, with Ian Holland picking up yet another century. They headed into day two in the driving seat. Tom Orthop had also fired his way to 100 and kept going at the resumption. His next contribution was to take his side through to 300. But he'd lose his partner, Mason Crane removed early, the night watchman's job done, and James Vince made his way to the crease. All Sop was still there though and playing his way towards 150. He'd fall agonisingly short. Just one run needed when he was strangled down the leg side by Griffiths, Gloucestershire now having a bit of a purple patch. Dawson and Vince brought that period to an end. The pair stuck together and added almost 50 runs. Both men with decent knocks to their names in recent weeks and it showed. They'd reached lunch still well on top with the score 376 for 5. Vince filled his boots, his knock quickly moved on to 50 not long after the game got back underway, and he took the score to 400 in the process. That would be as far as he'd make it though. A fine edge off Worrell brought his knock to an end at 52. McManus followed to the next ball, out after a consultation between umpires Debenham and Milnes. Kyle Abbott has plundered some big runs recently, but his innings wasn't able to reproduce that return. Worrell had him for his fourth of the innings, out plum LBW for four. Liam Dawson though held firm. He often adds important runs down the order and did so again. Before long, the Hampshire man joined many of his colleagues, another 50 runs to add to his growing collection. He and Wheel took the total past 450, the side now disappearing off into the distance. Dawson had 65 to his name when Higgins finally found a way to remove him. A short, wide delivery rather hacked at and smashed into his own stumps. A bass knock was fleeting. Just five added before he fell, bowled by Ryan Higgins. Hampshire all out for 470. The Hampshire order had done most of the damage. Tons from Holland and Althop helped their side to a position of dominance. Worrell looked dangerous for Gloucestershire. He and Higgins took four each. And they kept up the pressure as Gloucestershire's innings got underway. Captain Chris Dent was removed swiftly by a bass, out LBW for six. Bracey and Brathwaite though found their way through to T, unscathed with the score 30 for one. And they continued where they'd left off, Dent's departure dealt with and 50 runs notched up before long. This was a key partnership for Gloucestershire if they were to eke away at their host's total and the two looked well set. Brathwaite's knock was a good one and with the score now ticking towards three figures, the Windies International had a 50 to his name, his first for the Bristol based side. The team 100 was next, the visitors were now looking towards reaching the close of play unscathed. They couldn't make it though. Dawson found Brathwaite's edge and he had to go, caught behind for 60. Lace and Bracey stuck around. The latter looked good and in the 40s as the day wound towards the close. It was at an end with the score 114 for two. A good session for the visitors, bookended by some damaging wickets.